The best way to describe the Bassmaster Classic, it's a monster. The best in the world every year qualify for the Bassmaster Classic. There's a reason you hear it's compared to the Super Bowl of bass fishing. The Bassmaster Classic is the pinnacle of tournament fishing. If you are lucky enough to hold that trophy come Sunday night, you are cemented. Out of all championships for all other organizations, I basically won every everything you can win in a sport of bass fishing with the exception of the Classic. From a mafia term, you're a made man if, if you win this tournament for good. There is nothing past this. There is no place to go past this. I sure I want to win it. I've always wanted to win it. I feel like this week I will have a chance. From Gonzales, Louisiana, Greg Hackney. Look at me now. Nobody knew who I was. Now everyone's screaming my name. Look at me now. I couldn't look at myself. Now I see the mirror and say, look at me now. To win this tournament on Lake Hartwell, you're gonna have to earn it. You doing all right? Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. You, nice to meet you, thank you. This lake's like 100,000 acres. It's a great lake. It's a great place for the Classic because it is so big and guys can, you can pretty much catch one here from six inches deep to 60 foot deep. And there'll be fish caught like that during this Classic. These gotta be good. I just bought these at Academy, I just saw them. I did buy them at Academy yesterday because I was running low on a half ounce. Hopefully this will be a positive and because I can't go very far, I'll just magically end up on the mother load because of the fog. I took a hiatus a few years back, a couple last couple years, you know, from BASS and uh, tried a competitor's tournament trail. And uh, it was a great competition. I love the guys there. Fished for a lot of money there, but there was an empty spot that that couldn't feel and then only the Bassmaster Classic could feel. And I'll tell you another thing is history. Every angler that has won the Bassmaster Classic is a part of bass fishing history. Being at the Classic is part of bass fishing history. I had a lot of history with bass. You know, the more I thought about it, I was like, man, I don't want to give that up. There's just a lot of things that have happened for me in the sport of bass fishing that I felt like I was giving up when I wasn't fishing BASS. I'm the happiest right now, honestly, as far as fishing goes, as I've ever been since I've been doing this. That's the reason I know I made the right decision to come back. And like being at this Classic this week, my biggest goal with this Classic is just to be happy and have fun. I don't feel like the previous 15 Classics, I enjoyed it like I should have. I think I took it for granted, to be honest with you also. And uh, this week, you know, I'm like, just have fun with it. It's a classic, man. Well, the biggest thing about the classic, what makes it so special is it's so hard to get here. There's a couple different routes. You know, you can either make it in the elites, the top 32 in the elite series make the classic. You can win a bass open and make the classic. And then there's like four or five Federation guys that make it. It's just always been the most prestigious tournament. Of course, it's a big money tournament, but it's always been like who's who of bass fishing has won the Classic. It is the event that drew me into bass fishing, not into professional bass fishing. It's just something about it, you know, the people and coming into that Coliseum and I don't know, it's like, <laughs> like being back in the time of Rome and coming into the Colosseum as a gladiator. You know, it, it has that all the, you know what I mean? It's just a big deal. Like I still just enjoy to watch all the past classics. You know, go back and watch them on YouTube. It's, it's, just, it's just the whole deal. Again, like if you go back and look at the past classic champs, I mean, it's like who's who of bass fishing. You know, all my heroes, you know, have won the classic. Biggin. Now see, that bait was being run by that uh, big old spot. I mean a magnum spotted bass. I see another one. Look, there's another big one swimming right there with him. That's what you come to this end of the lake for. But I'm telling you now, I done been burnt by these suckers down here a couple times, so I'm not putting, uh, I'm not putting too much stock in that because I catch these every time we come down here. And then they burn me. 
That's about as pretty a fish right there as you can see. That thing probably weighs four pounds. <laughs> There's another one about that big with it. So we are at, uh, actually it's pro night at the Bassmaster Classic for striking and lose. We started a little bit of production stuff for actually for Bassmaster Live for the event. I got in town and ran there and ditched Brandon from the camera crew for Kings of Bass. Uh, and I'm gonna hang out with some folks here tonight, talk a little fishing, get ready for the classic and let's kick this thing off, right? Before we kind of get the classic going, the cool thing about pro night is you get to actually, you know, when 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 we get going in Bassmaster Live, we're we're trenched in when we're covering the event. At least tonight's a little more, you know, a little bit more laid back and get to smile and have a good time and who knows, maybe go out for 20 minutes afterwards. If you know what I mean, boy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for coming. Yeah. Tighten up, Max. Sorry. All right, come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like I'm ready to kick ass too right there. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Mark Zona. I was 11 years old, and I'll never forget this. There, there was a guy that I, he had a nice, shiny, it, I'm gonna say it was a 372 Ranger. He saw me, I was, I was waiting past the boat ramp, and he said, hey, do you wanna, do you wanna fish a bass tournament? And this dude's got, dude, he's got a shirt on with patches. I'm like, absolutely. Right, let's do this, man. It wasn't a tournament. This was a derby, right? There was 75 boats on a 900 acre lake. I skipped it under a boat with no weight and I caught almost a seven pound bass in Michigan. That doesn't happen, right? I, he put it in what he called the live well and I went back there for 90 minutes and I'm just staring at this thing. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? We won the tournament. We won big bass. Dad goes, where did you get that? I said, well, it was half of what we won in that fishing derby. And uh, he's like, you need to drive me to that guy's house and you're giving all that money back. I'm like, you are driving me nowhere, Kimo Sabi. <laughs> and by the way, I'm not a shortstop anymore. <laughs> Thanks for listening to me babble on. I, I, I tried to piggyback off of Hank right there. Uh, it means a ton to me. Thank you, thank you. There it is. First time I've been to this ramp since the last Bassmaster Classic I fished in. Did you know? I didn't even realize this. So the last Bassmaster Classic that I fished in my life was right here. Is that ironic? Isn't that kind of ironic to think about that? Now think about that. This week on Kings of Bass, we're with Greg Hackney on Lake Hartwell. 53rd Bassmaster Classic. I don't know. I think it's the 52nd. <laughs> I don't remember. So this is the official day of practice. We've had three days of practice, you know, a couple days ago, but today it's official, meaning that we will take off at seven and I'm due in at 310. Basically what this day is, it does give us another day on the lake, but it's basically a test run to make sure when we come back Friday that everything moves smoothly. Everybody knows where they're supposed to be, you know, when to get back, where to check in. Things will start changing today. This afternoon is supposed to be really warm. Tomorrow is supposed to be close to 80, and then we actually have a front passing through on Friday, and we're gonna have a little wind now. It's about the kind of wind that I've wanted. It's just gonna be out of a totally different direction from what I wanted. So you and I are gonna to practice today anticipating a east-northeast wind. I guess I fished every classic they've ever had at Lake Hart. Well, how about that? I may be the only guy in the field that can say that. I am. I'm pretty sure. How about that? Every classic they've ever had at Lake Hartwell, I've been here. 
It can be a disadvantage having past history on a place. I'm trying not to get up, you know, to get caught in living in history. Some of that is good. I, I feel like having past history here, I kind of know the part of the lake where, you know, realistically the best fish live just from past experience. The deal is I don't want to get caught up in the way I, maybe I've caught them in the past. I want to be very, my, my main deal this week also was another goal of mine was to stay very open-minded and not to force anything the way I wanted it to be. I'll let the fish tell me how they want it to be and that's what we're gonna do. Each win I've had has been better than the last. So I can only imagine what the Classic would be like to win it for me. I, I feel like that empty spot that I talked about earlier would be filled. What's next after the Classic? I don't know. I just want the Bassmaster Classic. I just want that win, you know. I just, in my mind, it will have solidified my career. It's a free throw. If it's over legal, you can tell that I make it look easy. It's a cheat code. It's a free throw. If it's over legal, yeah. <laughs> It's a big one, dude. The deal was, I, every now and then I like to look at some to make sure they're the right ones, but now I've thrown that tube enough. Every time I catch one out here, it's a three pounder or bigger. So, I mean, honestly, that one's one of the smaller ones. So, I don't know exactly what those fish will weigh, but I think they're three pounders. I mean, they're beefy. So I clipped that hook off now so I can, you know, throw on these places and if I get a bite, I can just shake it off and I don't have to worry about, you know, the fish. You can tell that I make it look easy. It's a cheat code. It's a, cheat code. It's a free throw. It's a free throw. If it's over legal, easy. you can tell that I make it look easy. It's a cheat code. It's a cheat code. It's a free throw. It's a First day of practice was really good. Like far as I could have really caught a big stringer of fish the first day of practice, but it was all weather related. I, I don't put a lot of stock in my first day of practice other than the area. The sec second day of practice, I, I did a lot of experimenting. I really, I spent the second day of practice looking for a big school of fish. This lake is notorious for having a place that you can pull up on and catch them every cast. I did not find anything. Then I went back shallow, went back looking again. I found some more areas that have some big ones, some big isolated ones. Yesterday was another one of those days that I could get out there and power fish in the clear water and catch a big stringer fish, but it means absolutely nothing. It's burnt me here. The last couple times we've been here, I mean, I've had some practices that like, it's insane what you can catch here when the weather's right. Historically, 17 pounds a day, if you could average that, you, you'll be top three, you know, in the classic. There's potential here in the, with the right weather to catch 25 pounds. It never happens during the Classic. We never get the right weather. This Classic is setting up, you see how the weather is today, that is exactly looks like what we're gonna have. Light winds, beautiful weather, that's 17 to 19 pounds on the big end, average winds. It's not gonna be fast and furious, I don't think, because we're not gonna have the weather, but I'm gonna have them egg beaters this week. <laughs> I'm not gonna get beat by a spinning rod hand this week. You know what I mean? I'm gonna keep them honest on that deal. So there are some giant large mouth cruising up shallow round docks that type of deal. There always is. That's about all I can do. Day one of Bassmaster Classic, and you know, one of the strange things I actually thought about this this morning is there's always a, a weird, eerie calm. I always watch the anglers on the water, and it's as quiet, it, it's strange, it's almost a scary, scary quiet before the fireworks and, and the explosions start. It's almost like you're just waiting for that one, just give me a bite to get the, the ball rolling, and it's kind of like that for us. We're ready, let's get it going. I gotta get my head right. You know, this is the whole deal. I mean, this is why you do this, is to make it to this deal. So I'm here with bells on. I thought yesterday I might've got some jitters, but I don't know what happened to them. They go. <laughs> I guess early morning, I ain't too jittery about anything. Like I don't get too excited about anything until it happens, you know, and it, it like, Regardless of how my practice is, I don't care if it's good or bad or indifferent, I don't really 
get too concerned about anything until we get out there and go to fishing. I mean, I'm gonna have to practice a little bit this morning just because I didn't really fish in any weather exactly like this, so it's gonna be a little different. <laughs> I hope to be leading the tournament when it's over. I'm not going out there to, I don't wanna be in contention. I might as well be go ahead and leading. I'd rather just lead from the beginning. It's a lot easier to be leading than it is to play catch up, you know, so. This has been compared to the, the Super Bowl of bass fishing. Some people have compared it to in our sport, something bigger than that. And there's a reason why this tournament is a monster. We have covered so many Bassmaster Classics and Davey, you can attest to this. The whole week is a process, a process from practice to media day. And that process starts really today on the water. And this is gonna be a different Lake Hartwell this time around. Greg Hackney definitely not on the quantity game so far, but the quality has been there. And I'm gonna say one thing about Greg Hackney. As usual, we don't really have a, a, a very okay. good fast track yeah. weight of what he has. Greg Hackney is in the top five right now. Okay. Yes, yes. I have three phobias in the world. One is eggs, two is bridges, and three is crowds. So the classic is, I love people. I love, I love everybody watching this, but when, when, when I'm genuinely around crowds, I am absolutely terrified. That's why when I get done with the broadcast, I, Tommy Sanders and myself, and I'll even throw one of the anglers, Greg Hackney, he, he's terrified of crowds too. You can ask him that. <laughs> we hide, we run in dark corners. The first day weigh-in at the Classic is probably the one that you get the most jitters about because that's when they pull you into that arena and I, I can't explain it, but it's the only event ever that does that where you sit in your boat and they pull you in and you're closed off. You can't even see how many people are in the arena. They play your coming out music, whatever it may be, and then they open that door and you roll. In. I mean, it's a big deal for me, and I, this will be my 16th time, but like, I can remember my first time. It's a special moment. You feel like you have arrived. Six time Bassmaster winner, but there is one chip he needs to fill, and that is the ultimate chip in this sport. Five fish here today for Greg Hackney. Looks like a good day at the office. Needs 20 pounds an ounce to take the lead. 18 pounds, nine ounces. 18-9, and Greg Hackney moves into third place currently. Get loud for Academy Pro, the hack attack, Greg Hackney. That's when you realize that you've reached the pinnacle. You know now why this is the Super Bowl, has always been considered the Super Bowl of bass fishing. You know that when you roll in that first day in the Coliseum. It, it's awesome, again, like I said, like I, it, it would be like back in the days of Rome and you're a gladiator and when you walk into that arena and everybody cheers, you know. We don't get to experience that any other time. I had 18.9 today. You know, my goal was 20. Just because, you know, it's the classic and you want to catch as much possibly as you think there's a chance that you can catch. But uh, all in all, it's a good day. You know, I had one lost opportunity. Probably cost me a couple pounds. I ended up weighing a really one smaller fish. But all in all, it was tough. It was a grind, but it turned out good. I want you to do basically the same thing, but do that little laugh you do in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, one more, hold on, one more and go. Now, laugh. Ha ha. Ha ha I love it. Awesome. That's We're awesome. Good. Okay. Thank you. I just told him oh, we'd just be conservative, so we'd be <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get caught in the moment and big out. <laughs> You're right. I mean, to be six pounds off, you know, exactly. Why did it take so long? Ooh, it's to tough. Get... Fishing was tough. I probably fish for some spots in the morning first thing instead of, you know, because I can't start the way I started this morning, so I'll probably fish for some spots in the morning. Doing what? Uh, football jig. Deep. Yeah. yeah, like 40 foot. And, I'll see y'all. On the flip side. Yep. Robbie Floyd, damn glad to meet you. Good to see yeah, you. Yeah, good to see you, Robbie. <laughs> hey, good to see you. Hey, Greg. Yeah. It's really nice to have you back in this room. Yeah, it yeah. really is. 
It is day two. I know Brian well, and I know his history on this lake, but he has veterans behind him. Stetson Blaylock, Jason Christie, Greg Hackney, and all of those guys to a man, especially Hackney and Christie, said, no, 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 no. I'm right where I want to be. I don't want to be in the driver's seat. Let all the attention be at that top, you know, first or second place. It was a grimy day for, for Hackney. He didn't catch a lot of fish but they were grossly underestimated that we called out on several times on Bassmaster Live. Davey and I looked at his fish about three quarter of the way through the day and we had him at like fourth place. Well, I think he ended up in third place. So am I calling Hackney a sandbagger? I'm gonna tell you what he is and you can use the BP. All he does is bullshit. That's what he does. Every tournament, all tournament, bull As far as the overall weights for day one, they were fantastic and the nice thing is, it's a stacked list and it's a it's a list of snipers going to be a good day too so this is the deal there's 53 winners in the classic i think that's how many guys go however many guys go they're all winners for being here any of these guys can win the tournament even without a classic win you can say but i qualified for the bassmaster classic and there will only be a handful of people do that ever in history Think about this, there's only been 52 winners, 53, in history, in history. Taking a look at our takeoff right there, a green pond landing, and here's the best way to describe it. Day number one of this Bassmaster Classic, it exceeded all expectations. From the crowd that was at the takeoff to the way these guys caught them, they absolutely knocked their lights out. If you're gonna hold the trophy of the biggest title in bass fishing, the Bassmaster Classic, and be one of the legends to have your name on one of these banners like you, Davey Height, here is the best way to put it. This tournament is a monster. Bass is a big part of my life. It's been a part of my life that I've dedicated my heart. I'm always proud to work with the anglers that I've worked with in Bassmaster Classics, some of them around, some of them not no more. Yeah, there's the event and there's the production and the show. The Bassmaster Classic is, is for you. It's for the, the fans of bass fishing. Selfishly, I, I'm that person. It's our Super Bowl, our, our Daytona 500, the Masters. All of us just got through the, the most whacked out two years in the history of this country. And when we covered this tournament last year in Texas, I remember looking at Tommy Sanders and I was like, damn it, dude. Is anybody gonna show up to this thing? And they opened the doors to the expo and they flooded in. Outside of the tournament itself, what makes the Classic such a very, very special week is the fans, because this week is for them. What I'll remember when, I, when I'm done with this in a year or five years or 10 years, I'll remember the people that held the trophy, but I'll remember the, the folks that came to this thing. They're the reason this is the Bassmaster Classic. To me, what I always say, it's the hard course. You know who you are. Day two, pretty much wrapped up here on uh, Lake Hartwell, and it was a weird, it was a weird day. I'd have lost money today. I thought Hackney was gonna crack him today. It was pretty grimy for him. You know, we're supposed to stay unbiased on, on all this stuff and try to, but I'm not. So either, uh, I wanna see Jason Christie win this tournament. He's a friend of mine, and he should have won it a few years ago. You think about the astronomical odds to basically, he had a shot to win the Classic three different times, to leave, re-qualify for the Elite Series, qualify for the Classic, and it's back on the lake that he should have won. The odds of that are creepy. So, maybe it's meant to be. Tomorrow's gonna be fun. I got started off a lot quicker this morning, but I just never caught any good ones. You know, I probably caught as many fish, or maybe even more than I did yesterday, but they were all small. I only saw a handful of good ones. I don't know, the weather this morning seemed great, but it wasn't for good ones. It was it made it a lot easier to get a bite. I went and fished a bunch of docks where there had been big ones. Never saw one, caught little ones. I don't know, I just kept rotating around in there thinking I was like, well, I only need two, you know, two big bites and never got them. I kind of 
have a time stamp on my career. There is an age range in the sport of bass fishing. Yeah, you can, I can bass fish for the rest of my life till the day I die, but there is a range into where you are competitive. I see it with all the greats. You become uncompetitive compared to, to the way you were in your prime. So I know that there is a lifespan for me and I, it's, it's definitely one of those deals I don't want to end my career on, say, a really, really low note. Do I think a classic win this week would end my career? No, no. I, I still think my career will run the same period. It'll just be, I would love to spend from this week on with a classic win, if that makes sense. Final day. Bassmaster Classic. Mixed feelings right now. We're the most biased, unbiased set. I've said that here on Kings of Bass. I, I don't think Greg has an opportunity to win the tournament, but I hope Jason Christie wins. This tournament has haunted him. To me, he's one of the best fishermen on, on earth. He's gonna have his hands full. What's weird, and it's what I was gonna start. I was thinking about it last night. You've heard the like the ghost of the New York Yankees in the playoffs. Weird things happen. Weird things happen on the final day of the Bassmaster Classic, like unforeseen things. Something strange will end up happening before this tournament's done. The great thing is it'll go down to the wire. Sunday fun day. It ain't quite as fun as I wanted it to be, but I'm just about three pounds off the mark, you know, that I would have been comfortable with. I'm hoping today that everything has to go perfect. Now I have a great game plan. If it doesn't take more than 55 pounds to win, I have an outside chance at winning. I'll be around a lot more than five five pounders, but I'm at least around a slight possibility of winning. If I'd have caught three pounds more yesterday than I had, I would be giddy right now, you know, but I'm that deficit of those three pounds is hard for me to make up. Tommy, it's almost like a script that you would write for one of these tournaments. The biggest tournament in bass fishing history and really the story of this tournament right now, it is Jason Christie. There's obviously phenomenal fishermen in our top 25, but Jason Christie is the only comparison. We talked about it last night after the weigh-in. This tournament for him, it's been like the Buffalo Bills of the 90s and getting that Super Bowl trophy. He's come so close in the past you kind of got to pull for the guy because he has been one bite from this multiple times of winning. The rules of the game, pretty simple. You had better catch them today. The number one key in this tournament, three pounds or better. That is what got you to this final day. And really the great thing, how healthy this fishery is, Davey Height, looking at this hummingbird unlock the lake, three pounds or better has been caught all over Lake Hartwell. I've said this to cameraman Brandon on, on Kings of Bass. I'm a lucky SOB, man. To be able to do this for a living, uh, to work with Tommy Sanders and, and Davey Height, and the whole crew and Mike Mc everybody, and to have been able to cover the best fishermen to ever hold a rod and reel. I don't even know who won the dang thing. It was a heck of a last day. It was Christie's, in my opinion, and Kyle Welcher's to win or lose. I don't know if either of them did it. It was not very really good today, and I was real, I'm really confused. From about 10:30 on, I had the exact weather that I thought I needed. Undoubtedly, I didn't need it because it didn't work out. I don't know. I'm totally confused about today. Best weather day for me personally, if I had to pick it, that we've had all week. I had some good conditions this morning that I didn't get bit in. I guess I just enjoy the experience of being at the Bassmaster Classic. I mean, it's been fun, you know. I, I heroed one day out of the three anyway. <laughs> Take it when I can get it right now. I think I know who's gonna win, but uh, I don't think most people don't know. It's not the guy that they, they probably, it's not the person that right now looks like leading. That's not who's gonna win. I talked to the guy who's gonna win. <laughs> He's gonna win. Yeah, I think my buddy Jason Christie's won. That's what I think. I knew, I knew when I looked at Bass Track, I was like, well, he's always at least three pounds heavier. So I asked him in the deal, I said, you got 16? Oh, I got 16. When he said that, I was like, ah, he's probably got 17 or 18. Because <laughs> if he didn't, he probably needs to quit if he didn't win this one. I mean, how many of these things can you lead going into the last day and not win? You know what I mean? Like it gets to the point where this ain't your gig, buddy. <laughs> He is a six-time Bassmaster winner. 
Century 7th the Bassmaster Classic. God's timing is perfect. Patience has a purpose. Waiting for its worth it. Right on time when we lay to the park. Five fish all alive. 17 pounds, 9 ounces. And finally, Christy conquers the classic. Finally, Christy conquers the classic. Your 2022 Academy Sports and Outdoors Bassmaster Classic Champion, Jason Christie. You know what's weird? The I said this is early this morning. You never know when the ghosts of the Bassmaster Classic show up. And I walked out after we were on live, I'm like, I'm not so sure our math is right. Jason, hold it up. Bring it in here. Come in here. My math. Here's what's strange. That's how we ended this show. See y'all. KOB. I'm out. Jason, love you, bro.